I had a thought inspired by one of my other damsel sisters. We're hearing over and over again how awful the idea of these transgender bathrooms are. We're hearing all people speak out about it from all walks of life. However, what we're not hearing is the true problem. All the people and all the outrage that should have been coming out of everyone's mouths for years. The true problem is the epidemic of sexual assault. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, but you're not seeing people running around wearing their teal ribbons and doing giant campaigns like they do for breast cancer awareness. All we're hearing about is the transgender bathrooms and how everybody's safety is impeded. Of course, yes, I do wish that there was a way to make transgender communities comfortable. Absolutely. But I do not feel that the comfort of some is worth the safety of the many. But that's not the big issue. The big issue is that one in five women will be sexually assaulted within their lifetime. The big issue is that one of the places they should feel safe to go, which is going to the bathroom, is in the top three places they're attacked. But nobody's talking about that. Nobody's talking about the fact that 97% of rapists will never serve a day in jail. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody's talking about the fact that when a rapist rapes a woman, her life is changed forever. She may be left breathing, but her life can often be taken away. How is that okay? How is it that instead we are brought to this issue only because we want to allow men who identify as women into the restroom? Why is it not being talked about all the time? Think about it. One in five women. And from my understanding, the federal government is potentially about to change that to one in four. How has that ever been okay?